Students at McClancy High School in Queens are learning how to save a life through CPR. Training this next generation of lifesavers is Melinda Marie Nyack. Every minute that passes, it is a 10% less chance for their survival. This is also the same school her son Dominic Murray went to. He died 13 years ago at only 17 years old after collapsing during a basketball game while shooting a layup. No one knew what to do right away. No one recognized that he was in distress from a sudden cardiac arrest episode. Had someone began CPR immediately and used an AED to shock his heart, she says he would probably be here today. Students are learning hands-only CPR and how to use an AED to bring the heart back to a normal rhythm. As a volunteer with the American Heart Association, her advocacy has helped 26,000 people learn CPR and AED training with at least four lives being saved. I wanted to make sure what happened to Dominic didn't happen to another child. She's helped pass legislation that's going to impact millions of lives throughout New York State. CPR training is now required in all New York State high schools in order for students to graduate. Dominic's law also went into effect this year, which will send information home to parents on cardiac arrest signs, symptoms, risks, and prevention. For the students learning the life saving techniques, they're glad they're here. It was informative, and I got to learn with my friends, and um, it's it's important because, you know, it could happen to anyone. And despite passing every sports preparation physical and annual checkup, Dominic's congenital heart condition wasn't revealed until his autopsy. Melinda's work has also resulted in 6,000 young hearts being screened, with at least 104 young people being identified as at risk. And to identify even more young people who are at risk and prevent tragic deaths like Dominic's, the school will be hosting its own heart screenings in the spring.